get a nice, nice close-up of the hook. I'm going to be using my favorite color, which is olive thread. This is pre-waxed fly tying thread. And we're going to wrap that over the hook all the way down the body. And this hook is, uh, you don't need to use this bent hook, but this is a stonefly nymph hook. And rather than buying two hooks to do nymphs and the dry fly uh, phase of the stonefly, I prefer to just use this hook for both of them. Okay? But you could use a size 8 straight hook, you know, double extra long or three extra long, or... Uh, you can use this nymph, uh, <coughs> stonefly nymph hook. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to tie in a little clump of tail material. And these, these uh, feathers, or these, uh, this fur doesn't have to be aligned. And that's something else I'll talk about. We'll be talking about, we're going to be using the hair stacker in a little bit. But we're just going to put a little clump of that on for the tail. Okay, so we're going to pinch, use the pinch method. You pinch, bring the line up through, bring it down nice and loose, and then pull up. And then pull up. And pull up. Pull up. There we go. And we're going to wrap that all the way down to the bend of the hook. We've got our little tail on there, okay? Nice little tail. Now we're going to take uh, a black hackle fiber because we're, we're going to be palmering this over the body. I'm going to pull one out of there. Okay. And when I palmer hackle on a fly and I start at the tail, I like to use the tip of the hackle first. Okay. And what that does is it makes tapered legs. So the legs get longer as they go up towards the head of the fly. We're going to wrap that in. It doesn't matter about uh, going wrapping a lot on this, this body here. I'm going to put that in our little clip there. Because this body should be pretty bulky. <coughs> there we go. We have our fly tying wax. Gonna put some of that on our string here. Not a lot. That looks like too much. No harm done. We'll just wipe some of it off. <coughs> I just can't seem to get rid of this cold. <coughs> but we're gonna spin that right on there, nice and fairly tight. Pretty good clumps of this stuff. I like the big bulky body on these these salmon flies. If you've looked at a grasshopper, how big a body do they have? They have a big body. So we're going to be tying this fly to actually imitate three different insects: the green drake hatch, the stonefly dry fly, and grasshoppers. So so don't worry about it. You're you're actually tying three flies at once, and that's what I like to do. I like to tie flies that imitate multiple hatches, okay? So instead of carrying uh, three three different flies in my fly box, I all I need is this one and it imitates three different hatches. And you may want to have it in a couple different sizes. You know, if there grasshoppers are hatching, you may want to have a bigger one, you know. Uh, it all depends on the situation, and you, in fly fishing, you have to look at what's going on on the stream, and then try to imitate that with your fly. Okay, we're gonna go three quarters of the way up, and now we're gonna wrap our hackle over that. And this is called palmering, so we're gonna leave a little gap there. We want, and it, we want those gaps to be bigger as it goes forwards. Okay. And again, make this fly as ugly as you can. And then we're going to go up there. We're going to go wrap a couple of times around there. And then we're going to bring our thread around and tie it in. Okay? 
There we go. <coughs> and we're going to nip that out of there. Okay? So we certainly don't need that anymore. Now, now's a good time to pick out a, a grizzly hackle. Okay? So we're going to take one of these really nice long ones. Uh, it's a big fly, so you can use pretty good size hackle. And I got two there. I only need one. We're going to tie this in by the base. So we're going to clip that off there. And what we're going to do is pull these fibers out and then clip them off so that the little fibers leave a nub so that when we tie it in, it stays in there. Okay? Doesn't come out. Okay? So we're going to wrap that in. Maybe pull it down a little bit so it's out of the way here okay because now is the real magic to this fly what we're going to do is take a good size clump of these uh, elk hair fibers and we're going to cut them off as close to the base of this skin as we can okay there we go now we're going to pull out some of the fluffy little hairs we don't want them in there now, by holding this all together, we're going to use our hair stacker, which is the little tool here that I have. And <clears throat> what this does is it lines up all the fibers in a nice, neat row. If I can get them in there. And you don't really want to let go of these till you get them in there. But once you get them in there, okay, you're going to tap this on the desk. And then when you pull this tube out, all the fibers should be lined up pretty close to, uh, together. And we'll pull some of the loose ones out. And there we go. We have our wings for our salmon, or our, our stone fly. Okay? So I'm going to pinch those and measure it so that you want these wings to go out as long as the tail. So we're going to measure it to be right there. Then we're going to nip it off so they're all even here. We're going to pinch it right there and go around loosely a couple of times. And I don't mind now, once we get it down, we can pull it tight and leave a lot of that hair still sticking out there. Okay? So there's our wings. Of our stone fly. Okay. Now we have to do our thorax, which is the one of the biggest parts of the bug. It's it's up near the head. And it's where the the head is attached to it, and so it's like the big part of the bug. So we're going to use a big wad of our dubbing. And this, this is a lot, okay? When you, when you tie flies, you don't normally use this much dubbing fur, but this fly kind of breaks all those rules, okay? We're going to go around a few times and come up to the head and get down there. There we go. And that's our head, okay, of the fly. Now we're going to wrap our hackle... Yeah, I gotta find my hackle pliers. There they are. Now we're going to wrap this hackle so that it stands up over the wings. We're gonna do a couple of wraps here. This helps it float right there. And that's like behind the head. Okay. Now we're gonna palmer a couple of times up to the front and then do a couple of more wraps on the front. <clears throat> and then we're going to <coughs> wrap that off. <coughs> we're going to do a whip finish. Not. Nah.
I'm gonna do two or three of those. I don't want it to come apart. And you can put a drop of head cement on there. And that will finish the fly.